Hi, I'm Jasper White, and I'm with my good friend and bassoonist Suzanne Nelson from the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Today we're going to do a picnic for Tanglewood. Every summer while I'm playing out at Tanglewood, I look out into the lawn and I see all the people eating their beautiful picnics and listening to the music. When Susan called me to do this video, she said, I would like to see what you do for a picnic if you went to Tanglewood. And I said, it would depend who the composer is. Um, if it was German, I'd be, I would have sausages. And if it was French, I'd have French cheeses. So thank God she asked me to do the American. I think this is a classic American picnic. Fried chicken. And fried chicken is just as good cold as it is hot. Potato salad, coleslaw. This is a little salad I make. It's almost like a pickle, a cucumber and onion. Hard boiled eggs, that's to me is mandatory. And don't forget the salt and pepper. Cornbread, some cheddar cheese, Vermont cheddar cheese, aged, some apples and fruit, some bread to eat it on. Watermelon or cantaloupe, I think is refreshing. And then Jasper White pulled out all the stops and showed me how to make a wonderful addition to this perfect American picnic. The lobster roll, you know, is really the quintessential New England dish because it's, on one hand, it's humble, but if you close your eyes and eat it, it's amazingly exquisite. You don't make the lobster roll ahead. You make the lobster salad, and then you stuff the rolls when you get to your picnic. So we'll start with some fresh lobster meat. And the beauty of lobster meat is you can always go to market and you can buy whatever lobsters are the best deal. So in the summer, uh, you would use the natives' uh, new shell lobsters. And um, at other times of the year, you might buy culls, which are lobsters that only have one claw. Most people put celery and onion, sometimes a little onion. I don't do that. I add cucumber, which I think is very refreshing and uh, really complements the flavor of the lobster. And then my mayonnaise is homemade, but you can, you can make a version of this if you don't want to use raw eggs and all that stuff. You can make a version of this using high quality mayonnaise, a little lemon juice, a little extra mustard, a little bit of chopped tarragon and chopped chives. And so I'll add the mayonnaise to the mix and stir it up a bit. Just gently. There's a lot of lobster in that mix. Yeah, it's, that's what makes the lobster roll so great. Take the bun, open it up a little bit, and then it's nice to have a little bit of lettuce in the bun for a little extra crunch. The cucumbers give it a crunch too. And then we just... Now, if you bring that on a picnic with you to Tanglewood, you better keep your eye on your food. <laughs> Because if you have to get up for any reason, they might be gone when you get back. 